I'm Jamie Pardue, and I'm with the American Association of University Women, and I'm here to read If You Take a Mouse to School by Laura Numeroff, and the pictures are by Alicia Bond. If you take a mouse to school, he's going to want a lunchbox. And when you give him the lunchbox, he'll want a sandwich. And a snack for later. Then he'll need a notebook and some pencils. He'll probably want to share your backpack too. When you get to school, he'll put his things in your locker and take a look around. He might do a little math and spell a word or two, and he'll even try a science experiment. Then he'll need to wash up and you'll have to take him to the bathroom. Once he's nice and clean, he'll be ready for his lunch. On the way to the lunchroom, he'll see some building blocks and he'll build a little mouse house. And he'll make some furniture out of clay. Then he'll need some books and his bookshelf and he'll start by writing one of his own. So he'll need a lot of paper. He'll probably use up all your pencils and when he's finished, he'll want to read his book to you. Then he'll want to take it home. So he'll put it in your lunchbox and tuck it into a safe place. When the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. While he's waiting, he'll play a quick game of soccer and then he'll ask you to shoot a few baskets. And do a little skateboarding. When he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat his snack. So he'll ask you for your lunchbox. And chances are, if he asks you for your lunchbox, you'll have to take him oops, last page, back to school. This story and many others can be found at Kona Stories in the Keoho Shopping Center. Take a look.